What's up Transformers fans, I'm Mondo and welcome to another Moonbase 84 transmission. My last video was all about my thoughts on the Transformers Headmasters cartoon that I recently watched for the first time and if you happen to have checked that video out, then you know that I really enjoyed it. Fresh off my hype for the show, I went through my toy collection to see what modern main characters I had from the show and what I would still need to build a collection of characters from the show. Long story short, I thought it would be fun and potentially helpful to fans by sharing the checklist that I came up with. But quickly before I do, please like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I would greatly appreciate it. Now that the YouTube begging is out of the way, here is my checklist for the most current Transformers toys you would need to build a Transformers Headmasters cartoon collection. Starting things off on the obvious and easier to obtain side, let's talk about the show's titular characters, the Headmasters. On the Autobot side, you will need Chrome Dome, Hardhead, Highbrow, and Brainstorm. The Decepticon Headmasters consist of Weird Wolf, Mindwipe, and Skull Cruncher. All seven figures were originally in the Titans Return line and have since been reissued in G1 style packaging. As of this recording, all seven of these are fairly easy to get in the G1 repackaging, even though they were Walmart exclusives and none of them command a high resale value on the secondary market. You can still get all of them for retail price or only a few dollars more at a lot of online sites and even on eBay. I have all of them right now except Skull Cruncher, but I will have him very soon. For the other six that I do have, I can say that I like them quite a bit. They are really fun to pose around, have simple but fun transformations, and they look good. Sticking with more Headmasters, let's talk about the Horror Cons, Ape Face and Snapdragon. Besides being Headmasters, these guys are also Triple Changers, which adds more play value to each of them. The most recent Ape Face would be in the War for Cybertron Siege line, and Snapdragon can be found in the War for Cybertron Earthrise line. I have the Ape Face, and my feelings about him are just like the other Headmasters I mentioned. A really nice figure. One of the things that I like the most about the Headmasters cartoon is how characters that got little or no screen time in our American G1 cartoon were used more in the Headmasters. That is the case with the Target Masters that go along with the Headmasters. When tracking down modern iterations of the Autobot Target Masters is where we run into a bit of a problem. You can get crosshairs from the War for Cybertron Siege line, but he doesn't have a Target Master weapon. So while he is the Target Master character, this release isn't a true Target Master. To me, this version is a filler at best, and hopefully we get a proper crosshairs down the road. It gets even worse when we talk about Sure Shot. This is because there isn't a modern version of him at all. There's only the original G1 toy. There is hope though. Sure Shot has appeared on a leak list for figures that are coming in 2025, so let's hope this happens. Thankfully, we do have the Point Blank toy from the Legacy line though. The three Decepticon Target Masters are Misfire, Slug Slinger, and Trigger Happy, and we run into big issues with these guys. All three can be found in the Titans Return line, and they have Titan Master heads instead of Target Master sidekicks. They also command ridiculous secondary market prices, making them really expensive fillers until proper versions come out. These figures also came out in the Japanese Legends line with their additional Target Master partners included, but again, the high resale prices is an issue. Plus, I think it's weird that these releases in the Legends line, in Legends line are effectively both Head and Target Masters. Let's get back to talking about some figures that are a bit easier and more reasonably priced. The Autobot and Decepticon clones. The Autobots, Fastlane and Cloudraker can be picked up in the Generations War for Cybertron Galactic Odyssey Biosphera set, and that is a mouthful. I have these guys, and no surprise, I like them. I will say that it is disappointing that they do not come with any weaponry. The Decepticon clones, Pounce and Wingspan, can be picked up from the Transformers Earthrise line, and while they look good, again, they don't come with weapons, which is kind of a shame. Of course, you can't have a Headmasters cartoon collection without including the one and only badass ninja bot himself, Six Shot. 
Once again, he can be found in the Titans return line, which once again essentially makes him a headmaster. I can live with that, but his high aftermarket price hurts a lot. I'm hoping we get a new and proper six shot in the near future. Now we've come to the point where we have to talk about the train bots. These guys were Japan only toys back in the day, and that's a shame that we never got, got them over here. This one really hurts because all the train bots were recently released in the Masterpiece line, which makes them expensive to add to your collection. To make things worse, they aren't the best figures by most accounts. Unfortunately, I am not optimistic that we would get an alternative release of these guys that would be easier on our wallets. I think our best bet would be if Dakar brings new, more affordable train bots out. Speaking of expensive, we are going to finish this checklist off with the two Headmaster Commanders, Fortress Maximus and Scorponok or Zarek. Fort Max just got his Titan class from Titan's Return reissued which helps you get an already expensive figure at its retail price. The Earthrise Titan class Scorponok on the other hand is a different story. Looking around I see that he is going for $100 or more than his original price on the secondary market. So that is my toy checklist to build a modern collection based off the Transformers Headmasters cartoon. High prices aside, it's a shame that there are so many figures on the list that we need better versions of. Not to mention a few who need modern figures, period. I also want to note that I focused on the characters that were featured in the show that we either didn't see on screen or saw much less of in the US. I also didn't include, for example, headmasters or target masters that didn't appear in the show because I wanted the checklist to be based off the cartoon. Anyway, that will wrap up the video. I hope the list was helpful in one way or another, or hopefully you had a little fun checking out this list of very cool Transformers toys with me. Feel free to comment your thoughts below, and as always, thanks for docking.